welcome back to Trail Talk. Alex here, your neighborhood dog walker. Um, yeah, another beautiful day. Summer has come. I wanted to talk about long lines. I have a nice little Great Pyrenees puppy right now that I'm house sitting. And she is well young and um, has some experience off leash, but not really in a pack situation. And it is a Great Pyrenees, so they tend to roam. And so long lines are a great um, tool to use when you want to start giving your dog a little bit more freedom and responsibility with sort of the safety of being able to catch them. You have like this lengthy line to be able to grab or step on or something to be able to still control them um, to keep them safe and to make sure that they, that they don't take off or they listen to you to reinforce the training. And I am a big fan of those. I have used them with every new dog that I've had. Uh, when I first introduced them to off leash, whether I know that they're great or not, just to give myself that extra safety and that extra thing to reinforce the training to make sure that they understand, like, no, this is what I actually mean. And this is what I want you to do. And it works really well. Eventually they transition off of the long line. And Miss Pancake over there is pretty great. But yeah, Romer. So <laughs> you gotta be careful. And Cheeto. Cheeto has proven himself to be a great off-leash little buddy. He comes when he's cold and hence no long line. She is a little less reliable right now. But stays close, which is amazing. And then this little guy that's coming around. Oh, well, he's just fantastic. Right, Gerald? You're great. <laughs> and then there is Miss, who... Lovely, lovely dog. She has lots of... <laughs> reliability. Lots of reliability. She is very well trained. All right, buddy? Yeah. So Panky gets to learn from all these well-behaved dogs that stay close to me. And make sure she comes back when she's called. Anyway, um, have fun out there. Oh my god, amazing summertime. And yeah, until next time, happy trails.